I'm going to begin, Steve. You've played Talking Animals before, but I imagine never quite in this level of detail. What was it, the experience like for you working on this project? Yeah, it wasn't even close to the detail of this. It wasn't even in the same ballpark. That I mean, it's the same as water skiing and knitting, about as close. Seriously. Motion capture is capturing your performance, right? So the technology comes in after, after you've done it, right? Um, I, I just... The whole idea of like you're you're the voice of something is just insane. After six months of being in pain, like taking Epsom salt baths and like, you know, studying chimps. But um, I mean, did you did you do a lot of research into the, just the, the way they move and the way, just the whole posture and? Oh my God, yeah. It 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 it's so involved that it's it's not even like going to to to, to like a class and like this is you know the minute if if we if we sat and imitated these guys, it would be stupid. You know, it wouldn't work. You actually have to get to the point of where you feel like you've embodied one. It's become second nature and you're just playing a character. That's the difficult thing. I mean, the first day I sat with with, with uh, uh, Terry Notary in his trailer and he was working on the movie and I, I came in late and I had like two and a half weeks to learn this stuff. I got scared <clears throat> shitless, man. Because I went into his trailer and he sat down and we went... I thought we were going to start just doing physical stuff. He's like, all right, let's breathe. Like that. And I started doing this stuff, and an hour into it, I got freaked out because I thought, this is a lot more involved than I thought I was going to, it was going to be. There's a difference between the way that we sit, posturing, and an ape sits. There's a difference between the way that we look around and the way that an, an ape looks around, right? And to get to that point of where, what, what is it that drives this thing is, is hours and hours and hours of work, you know what I mean? To get to the point of where you can just forget about it and do it. And that's the brilliance of, of Andy Serkis. That's the brilliance of people that are great in these parts because they, they, they literally embody an ape. So do you feel like you've almost got an affinity to this species? Like if you would go to the zoo oh, and you totally. watch the ape, do you feel yeah, its closeness? I, if, yeah, oh, yeah. If I went to the chimp, you know, especially chimps, I think. I, I, I would have affinity with them, and I'd, I'd feel like I could communicate with them in a way, like, you know, <laughs> not without, with being simple, actually. It must be incredible watching this film back, though, but to see it all put together. Oh, it blew my mind, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, just personally, just selfishly, just watching yourself, and to be able to see yourself and know what take they used. Oh, these are the take where I went like this, or the take where the cracker came out of my mouth, or... They used the take when Andy did that thing. And to know that, you know what I mean? It's like I actually know the take and I can see Andy. And he's not Andy, but he is Andy. It's very strange. Yeah. And I mean, Bad Ape is such a great addition, but he's a distinctly, distinctly quite sad character, isn't he? There's something yeah, quite no, it's tragic true. about him. Oh, yeah, there's something sad about all of them, mm. you know? But especially with, with Caesar, who's dealing with a lot of. There's a lot of tug of war going on with his aesthetic, his integrity, his morals, his, you know. It's, I, I think that's what's brilliant about the movie. It really is simplified. It's this big, epic war movie, but it's, it's really about this, you know what I mean? And the conflict inside all of us, whether you're human or ape. You learn more about humanity through the ape protagonist than you do in most films with human yeah, protagonists. Yeah, you do. It's yeah. very interesting, you know. Yeah. And you know, like the you know Woody's character, the bad guy. I mean, you, you totally understand where he's coming from. You totally get it, and you actually have sympathy. At some at one point, you're like, "Wow, wow." I mean, coming up, coming up, you got Lean on Pete with Andrew Hay. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, mean, I mean, he's he Weekend and uh, and Forty Five Years are two exquisite pieces of cinema. I was wondering how you fit into into his next project. Um, I I just read this script that was just out. It's just brilliant script. And uh, I play a, a homeless guy that that um, is kind of on this kid's journey, and um, alcoholic homeless guy. And uh, I did, I took a year off, and I did this movie like in the middle of that year off, like four days in Portland. And in a small movie, that's like a month on like Planet of the Apes, you know what I mean? But uh, I haven't seen it, so I didn't. 
can't tell you much about it. I bet it's really good, though. It was a great script. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks so much for your time today. Much yeah, appreciated. Yeah, Cheers. no worries. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!